Welcome to Christ Center Gamers Video Game Review of East India Company Pirate Bay. Uh, this is a expansion that requires a full game to play. Uh, I had a lot of trouble getting this expansion to work. There's like three different patches. You have to patch it in a specific order in order to even get this game to run. Otherwise, I was just getting right as it's launching, I get like a splash screen and crash to desktop. So I am able to run it, as you can see here. Uh, there is only pretty much a single player campaign. <laughs> there is an option to continue a campaign, which is kind of a joke, because in the game there's no way to kind of quick save as you're playing. The only option you have, I guess, is to exit to Windows, and I guess you can it'll kind of save from there, but saving is really not really an option, but that kind of makes this game very fast paced, or this expansion very fast paced, and, and adds a different, uh, definitely a different feel to it. There's you're not really trading buying merchandise from one port to another like the main uh, campaign. Instead, what you have to do to make your money fast, uh, it says you have 20 years, but if I add correctly, 1650 to 1680 is 30 years to make your fortune. Now, you can make money by raiding ships, like just battling and, and, and you know beating a ship, maybe even possibly adding it to your fleet, which can be a maximum of four. Or uh, you can raid ports. If you have enough pirates, you have a chance, and you can get some. That's some real fast money if you can survive it. Now, one mistake, your game is over. And when your game ends, you can uh, submit. If you have an account, you can submit your uh, name and stuff to be possibly top ten pirates out there. So, definitely a unique uh, campaign. So let's just. I'll just kind of show you how how it works. But yeah, there's definitely some limitations. Uh, this is all about battling and raiding ports. So uh, when you do a battle, in the main game you have the option to skip the battle, but in this game it's it's long and drawn out, so you can't skip it, unfortunately. So if you really like the battles, you'd be happy. If you're like me and preferred the marketing aspect and strategy, it's not going to be your favorite part. So, so here it's just the same voice acting, so all these pirates have a refined British accent. So what I did is I, I just speed up my ship speed and I changed my ship stance to aggressive. So, so I'm just kind of looking. I'm on the prowl here, looking for another ship. Um, now, uh, another difference. Let's attack that guy. Looks, looks pretty. There we go. Mm, well, we'll take a shot at it. So there's two ships. A lot of the fleets. This game is really hard to start because you only have one ship. You lose that one ship. Game over. Um, you don't have a whole lot of capital to start with, and all these ports, like in the main, when you start the original campaign of East India Company, the ports are like two star versus four or five star, which is like maximum built up, maximum security. So all these ports are pretty much four stars the weakest. So the ports are pretty strong, so they're harder to conquer. And then the ships, most of the ships you be, you'll you know encounter will be fleets of at least two, usually three or four. So it's really hard to start, but once you kind of get it, once you have your fleet maxed out to four, it should be pretty easy pickings if you have your your ships all loaded with pirates and enough space for raiding and collecting items to sell. So it should be pretty easy later on, but really hard to get started. So we'll see what the battle's going to look like here. I'll probably lose, but hey, it's all good. And again, you have to speed up the the battle speed. And it looks like the odds are against me, so we'll see what happens here. So I'll start the battle, and then I'm going to change it to speed of four, just to. So I'm going to target. Let's see. I'm gonna. This ship looks like it's. <clears throat> this ship looks like it's closer, so. You can change the fire at will. Um, there's a your surrender flag. Uh, I'm targeting, I'm using the, I'm going to target their hull is what I'm going to focus on. You can have it auto. There's, there's stuff they can get the hull, there's stuff they can get the sails, and then there's stuff that, that's designed to get the crew of the ship. Either way, I mean, it's, it's not a pretty sight on the ship. So we're just seeing what we can do. It's not looking too good, but I'm gonna try changing the auto. Sails are hurting. So the graphics are pretty much the same. The sound is the same. 
it, they just kind of changed the uh, the interface on this expansion. Uh, the expansion sells for $7.99 on Gamer's Gate, which is a fair price. It, it adds a unique twist to the game, but I, I still, I guess, prefer the, the main game over this. But it, it's, it's nice. It's neat. It's fun. I just hate not being able to save before I kind of make a mistake like this battle here. <laughs> but it kind of teaches you to think quick and... That ship is not looking too good, but mine's looking pretty bad as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much this, this game in a nutshell. I'm going to try attacking this ship now. It's hurting me pretty badly. I'm, I'm not going to win this one. But I just hurt it pretty good. But yeah, my ship is pretty much toast. Yep, I'm dead. So, I lost. But that's pretty much how this game goes. One mistake, it's over. But yeah, you can raid ports, you can attack ships, and just do what you can do. But that's how you lose this game. <laughs> I hope uh, you found this uh, video review helpful. Take care.